I didn't want it to have to come to this, but what's the point of all of it? We're sitting here in these endless discussions talking about stuff that really can't be proven. We can't prove anything by a bone. If, you, if you're looking at a bone, the only thing you can prove is something lived and something died. And not even necessarily something lived. It could have just been born and then died or who knows how long it lived. If it lived at all, it could have just been cut out or who knows. Bones do not prove anything at all. You cannot prove anything by a bone. Most of the stuff cannot be proven. We're sitting there wasting our time in these endless discussions about nothing because we cannot prove any of this stuff. No one was there. The most we have are uh, transcriptions of people who actually could actually write something down that they saw. This is what like the most we have to go off of. But the scientists today, they're not actually proving anything. If if we had things proven, then we wouldn't be sitting here discussing them, like evolution and creation. None of this stuff has been proven because it cannot be proven. You can't prove evolution or creation because we just have these endless discussions that go on forever and ever and ever and they're never, never going to stop. Ever. But, I mean, you, you really can't prove anything because, you know, you can't even prove that you exist. The most you can say is that, well, I know I exist because, you know, I see every day through my own perception. Um, does that really mean that you actually exist in any other kind of world through anyone else's eyes? Couldn't you just exist through your own eyes? You can't even like fully 100% beyond a reasonable doubt prove to anybody that you actually exist. The only thing you can say is that, oh yeah, I'll, I'll see every day. That doesn't prove anything. You can't prove anything. You aren't even there to uh, see the creation. And people, you just make yourself sound stupid when you know, I mean, when you say that, you know it's going to happen. Like, when I die, it's going to be it. Have you ever died before? Have, tell me, have you ever died before? How do you actually know? You gotta sit there and try to prove something to somebody when you haven't even experienced it. You haven't seen it. What are you doing? You're making yourself sound stupid. That's why, that's why I have the videos um, saying, like, questions atheists look stupid trying to answer. Because you do look stupid trying to answer them. Anybody will, because you cannot prove them. No matter how much evidence you think you have, you're not proving anything at all. Nothing. You can't prove it. Nothing. You cannot prove anything. No, but nobody's actually getting it though. I mean, if these, if these so-called facts you have were were actually proven, why we, why are we still discussing them? Why do people still have questions? Like we all know that two plus two equals four because we know the numerical value of the number one. We have been given the uh, values of numbers. We know that one equals one. And then you all you have to do is put one and another together. You have two, and you can multiply that one, and you can end up getting four. You can add something, get four. You know, we know numbers. That's it. That's the only thing that's consistent. But you can't, you can't like take numbers and give it. To, you can't just assign it to something that's inconsistent. Well, then you can't. That's you can't prove it. Then at that point, it's just you. You have evidence, and you will have to assume that's been proven. But it's really not proven. So what are you doing? These are just beliefs because they're not proven. Two plus two equaling four isn't a belief. But evolution is a belief. You cannot prove not one single aspect of it. What you call like microevolution, I call adaptation. We have problems there. You see? We can never get anything solved because you have a different belief than I do. You cannot prove that some kind of bacteria developing some kind of different trait is evolution. I just say, what? Well, it adapted. But you say, no, it evolved. Okay, we started off as what? Bacteria. Ended as what? A bacteria. So what evolved? Let me know. I don't get it. But um, apparently, maybe some things we just are supposed to know. Like these so-called scientists have been finding new things for however long, but what have they really found besides evolution? No one has ever proved evolution. We can't even prove a Big Bang because we don't even know if something can create itself. 
And then someone said that, well, energy exists inside vacuums and space. Where did the energy come from? My like, energy doesn't create itself, does it? Can energy just, just go, whoop, I'm here now. Hey, everybody. Has it always been here? Well, that means it's eternal. Well, like, does something create energy? Well, that means we have a creator. Like, we cannot prove, we can't prove a creator. We can't prove it created itself. We can't prove that it's been here forever. So what are we discussing? This mess is getting old. I'm getting tired of it. I'm discussing, going through these pages is listen to people, insult people for, for their beliefs. And they're saying, I don't have beliefs. You have beliefs. Shut up. You have beliefs. What are you talking about, man? You people can't. <laughs> These freaking atheists are retarded, man. I swear. I'm not even like insulting people, but you people are retarded. You have beliefs. You cannot prove it. You cannot prove a big bang. You weren't there. No matter how much evidence you think you have, it's not proven. Evidence isn't proof. And even proof isn't proven. You can prove something by testing it, but if it ends up coming out a little shaky, then then what, what do we really have? We have an assumption that this is right until we find something else. And that's what science does, says that, well, this is right, and if we find something else, that's better. That's a belief. You haven't proved anything. We can prove 2 plus 2 equals 4. We cannot prove that a big bang happened. Or we cannot prove that evolution happened because we see bones. And people probably had arthritis. I mean, you see bones and people are, like, slunching over. They could have just had arthritis. You say, well, that's evolution. That's a um, transitional, a transitional, like, human or whatever, or monkey, ape, human person thing or whatever, whatever you want to call it. You could just easily say that that is just a person with arthritis. So we're going to keep on going on because we cannot prove anything by a bone. The only thing bones can prove is that something died. That's it. Leave bones alone. Even like the geological column thing, you would say, well, that's a proof of like evolution. Well, that could be just proof of like bigger animals getting to like the top of mountains. So that's why you see maybe smaller ones and then you get kind of bigger ones. That's what like the creation is saying. Well, it could just be bigger animals got to like top of uh, high places quicker than small ones can. So what does it actually prove? What does it actually prove? I can say that and you can say where's well, evolution, Um, I mean, evidence of evolution. So we're going to keep on going on forever so all of these discussions are pointless. Stop it. You, you're wasting your time on YouTube. Go outside. Do something else. Um, whatever you feel like doing. Fly a kite. You know, get struck by lightning. I, I don't really care. Do something else. It's like get on YouTube or making these videos and discussing stupid stuff that you cannot prove. You're wasting your life on this stuff because scientists can't prove it. You cannot prove it. Go somewhere. No one cares. It's not that big of a deal. We just don't know. We're not going to know until we know. And then we don't know right now, so don't worry about it. It's not that crucial. Because you're never going to know. You're never going to prove it. You cannot prove something that happened five billion years ago. Were you there? No. And then they like to say, well, it's between this many, many billion and this many billion. Now, who really can believe that? I can see they said it was between 10 and 15 years. Okay, that's kind of all right. I can kind of believe something 10 to 15 years ago, even though I wasn't there. But there could be no remnants of something 15, 20 billion years ago. Like we can still say, well, here it is. How would you possibly know? Like, what really could last 10 billion years? Or however long anything happened? I don't, y'all just, in these billions of numbers, I don't know. But we know that things decompose and deteriorate and go bad so what what's really gonna last for that long you can't even prove that much but okay repeat this back with me and let's see how logical we sound okay I know what happened 700,000 years ago I wasn't alive 700,000 years ago but I know what happened beyond a reasonable doubt and I will go to far lengths to prove that I know what happened 700,000 years ago now, at the most, I'm only 100 years old, but I still know what happened 700,000 years ago. Yeah, the Earth's magnetic field actually reversed 700,000 years ago. Incoherent species intel. What you doing, mother? It's what you need to know.